at 6 for this Wednesday night, a young woman fights back. I should be able to go see a movie, plain and simple. I mean, I'm not asking a lot, and I just want to see a movie. A paralyzed young woman says a movie theater wouldn't let her in because of her wheelchair. Now she's taking action. A disabled woman tonight taking legal action, claiming employees at a movie theater on Long Island discriminated against her. The woman who is paralyzed from the waist down claims a the theater wouldn't let her in because she's in a wheelchair. It happened at the Roosevelt Field Mall in Garden City. Here's Joe Torres. The anger has faded, but the memory still lingers for Danielle Napoli, the 23-year-old confined to a wheelchair following a car accident two years ago, went to see a movie at the Lowe's Theaters at Roosevelt Field Mall back in March. But Napoli never made it to her seat. I had to get up the stairs. So that she didn't even, if I could get up the stairs and I can see the movie, if not, then we had to see Alice in Wonderland. When no accommodations were made to help her, Napoli complained to management and then contacted a lawyer. On Tuesday, she filed a discrimination complaint against the mall owner and the theater's parent company for violating state law and the Americans with Disabilities Act. The theater should make reasonable accommodation, whether that means there should be a ramp or some other method where a, whereby an individual would not be denied access. Spokespersons for both the mall and the theater had no comment about the discrimination complaint. But in an email response to Ms. Napoli, the director of mall marketing acknowledges the lack of compliance is, quote, a potential issue. I should be able to go see a movie, plain and simple. I mean, I'm not asking a lot, and I just want to see a movie, and I, you know, I couldn't. Napoli told us the theater's website indicated the facility was wheelchair accessible. Today, we saw a sign that provided further clarification. Napoli hopes her lawsuit will force changes that make the entire theater accessible to everyone. In Garden City, I'm Joe Torres, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.